Good morning. Good morning. As we are, uh, it, it is a uh, Memorial Day Monday. Thank you so much for those that that served, um, that are serving currently, and thank you for the families um, that um, have given um, relatives as the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom on the Memorial Day. You've got to remember that this is not just about the beginning of the summer, not just about barbecues. picnics and barbecues. This is, I mean, this is one of those things that often the real meaning gets lost. And uh, the real meaning is very, very important. We wouldn't be able to do, actually what we're doing now, um, if, we weren't, if we didn't live in a free society, we didn't live in a, in, in a place where people had decided they would, get, they, they would risk everything so we could have the freedom to do pretty, pretty much, much whatever, whatever, we want, you want. <laughs> whatever we want. And say pretty much whatever, whatever you want. want. You know, and 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 we and we sort of get spoiled uh, because a lot of times we don't we don't remember or we don't realize that it's not like this everywhere. Not everybody gets to do this, um, so this is very very so so this is a very very important day um, to thank the people who have um, again uh, made the ultimate made the ultimate sacrifice, gave everything, gave their lives, um, so we can do so so we can do this. I mean, ultimately, I, I know it seems. It seems silly that somebody would go to war so we could do this, but that's that's how it plays out. Um, today. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> so, so, okay. so today we are going to talk about an, uh, what I th- what, we, what we think is an interesting subject. Deborah came up with it: uh, the role of parents and family um, in marriage, because oftentimes that becomes an I- that that becomes an A issue. Big issue. It could be the best yeah. thing ever, or yes. it could be your worst friggin' nightmare. Um, when it comes to our families, um, I, I unfortunately didn't get to know Willie's mother. Um, I knew him when she passed, but we were not um, married or dating or anything like that. So, and, um, and I did know you when you. When yeah, yeah, because you know, because that 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 time that they came and got me and whisked me back down here. Yes. That February. Yeah. But um. I never got to know my mother-in-law um, and met my father-in-law just a few times. So I never had that that issue of, of not getting along with them or not know, you know, not agreeing with what they do in, in his life or whatever like that. But um, as far as my parents go, um, we didn't live right there with them, so they never really had a, a big part of our marriage. I mean, I communicated with uh, my parents about things that were going on and stuff like that, but they were the type of parents that, you know, you're married now. They 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 were biblical in-laws. You know, they did whatever they thought we needed, but they were never nosy and wanting to know what's going on and why this and blah, 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 you know, and you... And wanting to know what's going on in our marriage, so we were blessed in that part. Yeah, that was that, that was really cool because a, a lot of people don't understand. Once um, the children are married, they're really on their own. That's that that's the end of a lot of your parental influence, really, uh, on a daily basis, on an issue to issue basis. I guess is a better way to say it. Um, and and a lot of people don't don't aren't, aren't able to make that break. And and it causes a lot of problems. The idea is that yes, your your family and your parents are always going to be there to love you and support you. Yes. Um, however, the daily like we've talked about in the past fourteen or fifteen videos, the daily grind of um, <coughs> excuse, <coughs> pardon me of working out a marriage. Um, that's really up to you. That's really up to how you do it because everybody does it a little bit a little bit differently, and um, for them to have their you know what to have their fingers in it can be really problematical. Um, so I was I was blessed. Not that we moved away or I, I lived three hours away. That wasn't it. I, I I think that if we had lived next door, it would have been similar. Yes. Um, because I saw how they treated my my brother lived right next door to them and in his marriage and marriages and 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 they they pretty much stay clear of that they never had any uh you know if he asked their opinion or what to do of course they would um give their opinion and also 
pray with him and all of the, the things like that. They, that's the type of parents they were. But um, I know that some of us, have, some people have issues with in-laws. You know, they, they hear, oh, my in-laws coming. You know, you, you, they get all up nervous and everything like that. But um, should they have a say-so in your marriage? Um, I know I was watching this television show where this girl, her, her mom bought her, bought their home for them. And so she has a section of the house where she can live when she comes to visit. And so, you know, when you get financially yeah, tied I, up in something at the like Laquita that. the <laughs> over there. Mom, I, we got you a, your mother-in-law suite. No, but she is paid for the house. Quinta. So she paid for a portion of the house. Wow. So she feels she has a say-so in what part of the house she can live in when she comes to visit. That's problematic. That is obviously <laughs> problematical. Someone, someone should have said no. Someone should have said thank you, uh, no. But that's a, a question. Um, do you, if you are financially struggling and your your wife or your bro husband, you know, had their family has some funds and they're they're stable. Do they? Is it okay for them to buy you a home or you know? It, and and I think it all depends on what type of parent they are because some parents can give you because because our parents helped us when you're starting out young. You you need a little help sometimes, but if you if 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 they are the type of controlling people that if we give you this we want to blah 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 blah, you might want to think well we'll if just struggle on our if own. If there's going to be string if there's going to be strings attached, then stay in your one bedroom apartment. Mm -hmm. If there's going to be continuous strings attached, um, and and you probably have already figured you probably have already figured that out. You know your mom and dad. You know how they've been through your childhood. You know that there's going to be strings attached to every single gift, every single piece of help. Um, and if you don't want to live like that, then then don't. Then and I know that in a lot of situations it is <clears throat> confrontational to say no. That causes confrontation as well. Um, but I but, but but my gut is that if you know that they're if there's strings attached to every single thing, then you don't want that. Because now, now you're not married to just your spouse. You're married in a marriage kind of way to them, too. Um, they, are, they have now annexed you as their child. That's kind of what that's happened. They've sort of annexed you as their kid. And that's not the relationship I think that, that me, anybody wants to be in, especially long term. So I and 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 I'm I'm guessing that always causes friction between the husband and wife always, um, because if you don't want it, you seem you seem ungrateful, mm -hmm. um, and of course your your spouse may be used to living in a certain lifestyle. Maybe they're not used to living in a bedroom, one bedroom apartment or studio. Maybe and so they want to be able to have what they had when they. Growing up, or, or you know, which means you, which means you didn't do your homework beforehand. Mm -hmm. That's what that means. You didn't do the hard work beforehand. You didn't say we're not going to live like your parents. Not in the beginning. We're not going to live like them. We're not going to live in the nine thousand square foot home with a pool, and this is not how we're going to live. Especially now. Especially now, we're going to stay in this studio apartment until it, 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 we're able to do, we are able to do something else. Uh, because this, this union is separate from your parents' union. It's separate um, from your family. It's sort of, the picture I get is like if you have little, if you have water and little pieces of oil on the water, how, how sometimes they just sort of clump together, but they stay separate. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of how it is. You have this, this there. Every, everybody sort of clumped together in, in, in this relationship, but they're actually separate pieces of oil. Um, and I think that that's how that that's how your marriage should that's how your marriage should work um, when related to your family. But you have to have these conversations beforehand, especially if you can see it coming. 
again, as I, I sound like a, a, a stuck record, always have marriage counseling. Marriage counseling is important when going into a marriage. It doesn't make the marriage perfect, but it's it helps you to know the person that you're getting into uh, this commitment with better because that's something that you can talk about, you know, um, what are the boundaries for our parents in this relationship? Where can we, you know, cut it off or where can, you know, and, and sometimes if you marry somebody so quickly, you may not understand the relationship they have with their parents. Yes. And, 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 and if it starts off financially, it's going to bleed into your children. Mm -hmm. What, how you should raise, how you should raise your children, um, and that always, and, 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 and now you've got on, not only a two prong conflict with you and your spouse, now you've got a three prong conflict with you, your spouse and your kid and your parents. So that's something that you really should talk about the place that parents, that parents, and, and, and isn't just always parents. It could be brothers and sisters and cousins and cousins the worst. cousins <laughs> are the worst. <laughs> the worst. You I always in say with cousins. you are most likely to rob a bank with your cousins. <laughs> Even if you think, I'll never rob a bank. But if you do, I guarantee it'll be with your cousin. <laughs> Jesus. But, um, no, it, it, it's making sure, like Debbie said, you know, what What are people's boundaries? Where, you know, what? what's okay and what's not going to be okay? Um, and you may, and, and because you haven't talked about it before, you, they may have suffered, for lack of a better term, the very same input from their parents. It may be how they think it's supposed to go. Mm -hmm. It may, you know what? That's your, normal to Your them. grandparents did the very same thing to your parents, so they think that's the way it's supposed to be, and that, that that's really their responsibility. Um, that's why you have to, you know, talk to some, talk to somebody. Now, you're right, David. Right? It, it may make it's not. It's not going to make anything perfect for sure, but at least it'll open up those questions, and you'll have an idea where the pitfalls may be. So you can avoid them. So you don't have to suffer through the, the hellish nightmare of them. You can actually see them coming and avoid them. And everybody knows. Um, you, don't have to fall, you don't have to fall into a hole if somebody could put up a sign. You don't have to hop in there. So, yeah, talk to somebody. If you, if you can't talk to each other about these kind of things, talk to somebody. A, a pastor is... A, Pastor, you know, if, 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 if you're in church, go to a pastor. Um, there are many marriage counseling people. Uh, find people that you know personally who have been who, who you think have good marriages have been married for a while. Sit down with them and say, "What about these things? How did you guys navigate this?" Find somebody to talk to. Don't do this in a vacuum. I often think about all in the family, and, and I'm kind of telling my age, but all in the family. Uh, I I remember the debut. <laughs> and uh, how the Mike and Gloria they live with Archie all this time and they kind of got married very quick so Mike had no idea how Archie was <laughs> until he started living with him he would have married Gloria but he wouldn't have chosen to live with him yes. <laughs> which wouldn't have been nearly as funny <laughs> but <laughs> yeah there wouldn't have been a show but um but it's important to but but I also think that Mike did not uh Mike was awful he did not respect Archie in Archie's own home. That was all. So that's important as well. And then one of my questions is: Is it okay to live with the parents once you are married? Yes, it's that is a that is fine if you have agreed that you're going to live there for a certain period of time so that you can get up on your feet. But you have to know also whether those parents are going to hold that against you is again. That's another thing that some parents hold over their kids' heads. Well, you owe us because we let you live with us and blah, 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 you know. So be cautious of that, you know, because if you think that you're going to have issues with your, with your in-laws and living there with them, you may not want to get married until you can afford somewhere to live. Well, yeah, you might, you might want to just <clears throat> get that studio apartment and make that your honeymoon nest and stay there um, until you can get up on your feet. I think a lot of people make the mistake of wanting to live like their parents right away. 
Yes. Um, and and, and all it, the, almost all young people do that now. They want to have a 3,000, 4,000 foot home and drive the, the best cars and all this stuff like that. And they've been married for a year. Come on. You don't have the finances. Well, you don't have the finances usually or the credit that your parents have that took got them in that home. Or the experience to handle all the stuff. You may you may indeed have all you may yeah, you, you may, may have, have the, the money, money. But you don't have all the, the foundation mind. it takes to do what they what, what they've spent 25, 30, 40 years doing. So it may be it, it may end up being the worst thing in the world for you. It may be the concept of way too, too much way too soon. So um, the idea is yeah, so you think that you're going to just get up on your feet and stay with your and and, and stay with their parents for a while, but you're but but Debbie's right. Some sometimes people use that as one more string, one more string, and if you don't know and and frankly, if you haven't had that conversation, if you don't if you don't and and if you've had it and you don't get a feel good feeling about it, my get my gut says don't do it. Go to the studio apartment, enjoy your little studio apartment with your pull out couches, your bed and. Sleeping on the floor I'm like a, we did. I'm gonna tell you. Wow. I'm gonna tell you. It'll be all right. <laughs> it'll be all right. It'll work out. It won't be the. It ain't the Hilton, but it won't matter. I'm telling you, it won't matter. It won't matter. Yeah, because I, way back when in our little my little one bedroom apartment, I didn't have a bed. I had a mattress. It worked. Mm-hmm. Just telling you. Um, so, so you may not have all the accoutrement, you may not have all the stuff, uh, you may not have all the stuff they have on TV, but you know what, what you'll have is your independence and that, and that I'm telling you, that'll mean more to you, um, going forward than anything. You'll have your independence and you won't have, and you won't have nearly the, the extra conflict with your parent. I mean, with, with each other's parents. And it'll keep the relationship <clears throat> between you and your parents good. I think so too. Because there, you know, I know some people that don't even they've they've had such a conflict there. They don't even talk with their parents on a regular basis. Mm-hmm. When my parents was alive, I wanted to talk to my mom almost every day. For sure, every weekend we talked. And if you can't talk to your parents because you feel uncomfortable about something that, that have gone between you and their your spouse, then that's that that's a hard way to live. You don't the time with your parents is precious. And especially if it's over something that is as pedestrian as uh you, we lived with you for 6 months before I mean after you got married, which which in the course of 30 years is really nothing. So you're going to so, so you're going to break this relation I mean this relationship down over nothing really when you could have got a 7 month lease at a studio apartment. It, is, it, it, it just doesn't make good. It just doesn't make good sense. Is you know what you're trying to get now, what you're going to get later, if you just are a little patient. And I think that, that people make the mistake because they're just not patient. Mm-hmm. Um, be patient. Be patient. Things will things will work out much better for you if you if you are. You don't have to have it now. You're on the path. You'll be fine. You don't have to have it now. Um, but talk, but, but, but Ashley, and, and I know these conversations are very, everything that we're saying and talk about, we're saying it very easily glib off our tongue, but I understand that these conversations are tough to have. They're hard. They are, they are tough to have, but you know where they're, you know when they're tougher? In divorce court. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's when they're tougher. So, and I, know, and, I, and I know they're hard conversations and everybody has their feelings involved and gets their feelings hurt. Um, but <clears throat> if you don't get through that kind of stuff early if it's going to be an issue um it's going to be much much worse much worse worse later so yeah have that conversation before you get married if you can um and if you're already and some of and some of you may already be living you know with your spouse's parents already or living in one of their houses or they've they've come up with a down payment for you for your house or whatever you may already be there so now, and, and if you're worried about how this is going to work out, then have that conversation now. now. Say, hey, you mm-hmm. know what? Hey, you know what? Dad, I pre- I, Mom, I appreciate this. Um, but, you know what? It, it, may, it, it may be repayment. It may be repayment faster. Uh, but you got to have that conversation now. Uh, or, it's gonna, or I think it'll just fester and be worse. Yes. Find out what they are expecting <clears throat> 
from you. Um, you know, you may even want to have a contract or something so that if you know how your parents are, some of us, we know, you know, I know that dad's going to use this <laughs> later on, or mom's going to bring this up later on. So you may want to have a contract with them, you know, a lease or something so you know, while you're staying with them or, you know, an arrangement of a deadline as to when it's going to end or what, you know, what's going to happen through the whole process. Don't just do stuff without talking it through. Cause, cause, cause what happens in, in a lot of those times where, yeah, we're just going to be here for a little bit, you know, a little bit turns into weeks, months, sometimes even years. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you're and then you're kind of stuck and the, and, the, and, and remember the longer you stay the tighter the string is and the on the bad side or, or, or as far as your relationship goes you never become husband and wife you always become the child and their spouse mm -hmm. so you never get to live as husband and wife um, you have to wait for them to go on vacation <laughs> to be husband and wife. Uh, and um, you have to wait for them to leave the house and go get groceries or whatever. You never get to you, you, you never get to solidify your own marriage. Your own marriage always ends up being sort of soft because it's dependent on what somebody else does. And that's, and that's really not what you want. <laughs> I thought about what we, I saw in the news this week, <clears throat> um, last week, where this Fam this family is suing their son to to evict him from the house. They've evicted him, I think, six times. That's not worked. And he has not left. So they are taking him to court and suing him to try. He's 30 years old. He w had been married and has a child, but there he's divorced and he had custody of the child while he was living with them. But he lost custody because he's not working and he, now that's a different story. He's not working and he's living with them and they're just like, it's time for you to go. It's, it's a little tough love. Well, that's, a, that's, that, that's not a spouse situation. No. So that's, that's, not, that's something else. Entirely. But, you know, some, some parents might get tired of you being there and want to evict you, but... That's well, a whole different story. Well, yeah, but. I mean, I mean, if you think that six months is, isn't a long time, um, what you didn't talk about was that that their idea was like three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and you think six months isn't a long time? You just started a job, and you know, blah blah blah. You just building some savings, and you thought, so yeah, and you thought six months was fine when they were thinking three weeks. Um, so now you're wondering, you know, what the first two and a half weeks was great. And then, and, and in the next, you know, five and a half months was hell because an expectation didn't get met, and that's really the the the, the, the nexus of of conflict is when when expectations don't get met. So you have to be really clear about what the expectation is, for sure. Yep, 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 yep. All right. What else you got? Anything else? No, that was all my questions. All right, listen, uh, we got to make sure, you know, we were talking last night, is that we've got over 1,700 views of these videos here on Facebook, and we are thankful for that. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Um, but what, what, what we need you to do, if you'll do something for us, and really it's not going to cost you any money, I promise, it won't cost you any money, is that if you will go to our YouTube channel, just go to YouTube, and De Debbie said some of y'all didn't know how to get to YouTube, so let me tell you, up in the little search bar, where you type in Facebook, type in YouTube. Now, I, I played with it yesterday. You can type in Y-O-U-T-U-B-E dot com, or you can just type in U, the letter U, space, tube, T-U-B-E, or you can type in the letter U and T, space, T-O-O-B. <laughs> tube. Tube, and it will get you, uh, Google will get you to YouTube. And once you get to YouTube, just type in Real Talk with Deb and Will, and it'll take you right to um, our channel. And if you would subscribe and share videos from there, that would be very, very helpful. We would appreciate that greatly as we move this enterprise along. All right, again, enjoy your Memorial Day. Enjoy your family. Um, and I know a lot of you aren't watching live this morning, and that's fine because you're probably off from work, taking a little, little long siesta, and you deservedly so. 
uh, and you're going to spend some time with family today, and that's great. Uh, have a great Memorial Day, and uh, we will be back here next Monday with more fun. Or maybe we'll catch you. Maybe we'll catch you midweek. I don't know. Maybe, maybe if you if you all behave, but we'll catch you midweek. All right. So we got to get out of here, and make room for somebody else. So until we see you again, thank Martin, you for watching. <clears throat> love learn, you. Learn something. Peace. Love somebody. And until we see you again, take care of yourself. Peace.